hi guys so today I decided to make a short tutorial about some of the most basic concept in jQuery and how to make a call to third party server in order to fetch the details for you I am sure that you would have heard the name of web services and rest API these are just a concept in which you can interact with different servers and consume their services in order to fetch the details from the third party server so having said that let's get hand dirty in our coding part just a note here if you are a beginner for this we are not writing any third party server I will be just googling around and searching for third party server which I found already and I am going to con consume the data that I request from this URL so this is just a starting point of making a request dynamically when the page is loaded so yeah so pretty much we would be making a third party call so I don't have anything right now set up so I will prepare one folder in my desktop let's give a fancy name tutorial maybe jquery I would be using uh, uh, I make the spelling wrong tutorial I would be using the jquery which is a javascript library in order to make a third party call jquery is not only specific to third party call it is used in many places but this is just a st uh, short tutorial uh, to make you understand this concept so I will open this folder in my sublime text and I will close my previous sublime text editor instance so that I will not be confused I will prepare one file in this folder just give it a name of ajax.html you can name it whatever fancy name you have so right now I am thinking of ajax and I will write the bare bones of html template and inside the body tag I will write the script tag where I will write the javascript make sure you spell this all correctly otherwise it will not work for you now inside the head tags since I told earlier that we would be using jquery so I will be loading the jquery javascript library now in order to load the jquery there are two ways to load it first way is to download the jquery and make it available in your local project directory or you can directly reference jquery from the google hosted libraries so i will copy this url where the jquery is hosted and i will paste here okay so we have now set up everything that I require in order to make a third party call so to write jquery so every jquery function is denoted by dollar sign inside curly braces you have to write document dot ready function uh, 
I don't know what the heck is this so yeah uh, you can give function name but since this is anonymous function so this is how we write when our DOM get loaded meaning when our all HTML tags and other things are rendered in the browser then go ahead and execute the script after this we are now going to make a third party call so to make a third party call we have to use Ajax request or Ajax API that is provided in jQuery so I don't remember the syntax right now so I will copy the syntax from jQuery documentation so I will put or rather I will copy the syntax and I will paste it in my document dot ready I will tweak around with this property little bit but before that after the script is loaded then whatever response we got it should be shown in our page so in order to do that I will use dev I will assign dev with an ID so that it is uniquely identified within the document some data and I will close the dev tag now I told you I will not going to write any third party server for it however when you google around you will find many fake servers that provide these services one of this is this URL JSON placeholder dot typo code dot com so now from our PC now we are going into some another server and this server is now going to respond with some data or the logic that is being written here so if I quickly click on run button you can see that it is making a call to this server from this PC and it is loading the data so this data is being returned from the server so I will copy paste this URL and inside of URL property I will paste here and our URL is still not complete because in the URL property there is something which we are appending to the root variable so I will copy this also and I will paste it here now our URL is complete now method is not post because we are not submitting the data we are just retrieving the data so the request would be get and the data is an parameter that is provided in Ajax API in order to pass more data to the server so meaning since this is a get request there is no data associated with it but while this is a post request you would be submitting the request so in order to get the details you have to use this data tag when you are using post as a method now after it has made so there are several callbacks associated with it done is one of the callback which it does after it retrieves or after it completes this ajax call then it comes into done function where in the parameter a message parameter is there that is actually returning the response from the server so I'm just going to alert it out or rather I could say instead of alert I could say console dot log so that we can see the data and we can see that the data is returned now there is lots of talk let's see this code in action so I will save this file I will run it in one of my favorite browser which I assume you know already that is Google Chrome 
okay i think so the page got loaded and you cannot see this in the ui right now i will change it and then i will show you in the ui so i will just inspect it and inside of console oh my god you can see that the data has been returned as an object object right so some data is being written and in the network tab when you are going to refresh it you could see that a request has been made and you are going uh, with the status of 304 that means that the request is cached and here we go you have this data available now once you have data available right you have to bind it or you have to show it in the ui because user is not going to click inspect element and see oh i am returning the data i have to see the data here so this is not going to happen so what i will do in my done function after i have retrieved the response from this api call then what i will do is that I will make one JavaScript variable known as JSON data and I will pass it JSON dot pass and I will use message tag now once I do this you will see that our data will be converted into an JavaScript object if I remember this function correctly and once I run this code again in the console tag there is one weird thing happening okay then uh, we will not going to use that we are just going to use message tag and let's see because uh, json object is directly understandable to the browser so here we go without passing it as an json object because it is actually returning an json object so here we go we have object now through this object we are now going to bind this in the ui so to bind this in the ui i have to select the element or the HTML element where the data has to be binded so since I have given div with some ID some data so I will take this some data I will select this element by using dollar for ID we use hash and the element name and in order to write this inside the div tag we will use HTML and here the data that you have to write so I will close it with h3 tag inside h3 tag I will write message dot body because this is our message and inside the message we have a property known as by body and if you want to append more data then what you can do you can use div div tag and then you can use ob sorry message dot the property title now we are now able to successfully bind it to this tab let's save this file run this again in the browser oh my god see you have the data available in the browser now so this is how you make an api call to another server in order to consume their services rather than writing your own script hope this tutorial would be useful to you and you would play around with this thank you so much for watching this video and giving some time yeah that's it for today's tutorial and if you are not able to understand this tutorial just ping me or comment it out i will make another tutorial to make you understand 
of how this works so this is just a starting and a useful way of using jquery because jquery provides a lot of good syntax sugar but behind the scene it is using a core javascript which is understandable by the browser so these are just very fancy right you could understand uh, by this what it is happening so yeah that pretty much it so hopefully you have enjoyed this tutorial and learned something out of it bye guys have a nice time and have a nice weekend thank you so much yeah